Welcome back. Uh, today I want to talk about my approach to using the Nord as my only keys, you know, setup on a Sunday morning. So to basically explain what's going on here, um, there are eight sort of presets that are right in front of you as you're playing. And um, rather than having a different preset for every song, what I will do is I'll set up what I call my home base patch. And on the home base patch, it's got my go-to organ, my go-to grand piano with an extra layer that I can introduce. Uh, it's also got uh, my uh, just a couple patches that I like, two drones to play with the texture a little bit, and then uh, my sampled Oberheim that's in there. So I will show you all those sounds, um, but in general, I have that home base set up, and then I have, uh, whenever there are specific moments in other songs that require a different sound, then I will jump off of the home base, which will cut the drone. I will focus on whatever that sound is, if it's a percussive sound, if it's, you know, whatever it may be. Jump over there, do that for a little bit, and then as soon as that's done, we sort of jump back to what I call the home base. Um, so I'll show you what the home base patch looks like, and then after that I'll show you maybe an example of a time when I've had to jump off of it and then jump to something else. Uh, so for the home base patch, uh, keeping it real simple, the piano, is, uh, so I have just a grand piano that's on there. It sounds like this. Uh, so pretty simple right there, not a, not a tongue going on. Um, I do have a second piano layer that comes in that really helps add uh, just a little bit of sparkle, if you will. It's an octave up piano run through a bunch of delay and reverb and kind of EQ to do some stuff. So I'll play the normal piano and then I'll add in that second layer. So yeah, really cool layer to be able to add in. Um, especially in my experience, there's so much of the worship set where you just have a drone on and some piano. It's nice to have a second layer that helps you cut through the mix just a little bit if you need to. Um, so then we get to the drones. So the first drone I created from uh, an Oberheim, that, which is like my favorite synth of all time. And it's just run through a bunch of reverb and delay and then it's run through uh, the goal foss to remove some of those some of those frequencies that can be a little harsh sometimes. That's basically it. Uh, and then I have that for all different keys so I can trigger them whenever I want. And it's just the top, like the top octave of the keyboard that's set aside for drones. And then everything else just focuses on all the synths and stuff that I'm playing. Um, I also have a drone that is a, it's the Mellotron uh, string. So it has a really nice kind of grainy. I think I ran it through a little bit of overdrive and, and made it a little, little more grainy. So here's what that sounds like. So then if I put them together and then add in that piano, this is like, this is where we spend most of the time as keys players. So that's basically it, you know, for the for the home base. But then I have a couple other things that I can throw in from time to time. So the first thing I have is this sampled Oberheim Oberheim patch. For 
forgot to mention I have that uh, the mod wheel is mapped to only one thing, and that is the EQ that's on that Oberheim patch. So, uh, yeah, going throughout a song, if I just need like a little more energy to come in behind something, that's the kind of thing that I'll throw in. So if we pull back in the drone, I'll pull back in that piano, and then we'll kind of pull up the synth to add just a little bit of texture to it. Yeah, so in general, that's that's kind of what you're doing. And then on top of that, I have just an organ that I can pull in from time to time. So it's pretty simple. Um, so that's basically the home base patch. That's what I use throughout the whole set. And then another, uh, sometimes the song comes along and I wanna have the same thing but with an upright in it. So this is the same thing, but it just has an upright piano there. That's basically it. Everything else is the same, right? Um, and then let's go through, oh, there's, there's, uh, the same patch, but with the felt piano at the very, very end. That's what I use for ultra call, just for a real delicate kind of moment. So pretty much the same thing, you know, uh, that's what we're doing. And then sometimes, um, there are these moments, in a lot of CCM songs especially, you kind of go verse one, you know, verse two, and then you jump into the chorus, and verse one and verse two might be real high energy, and then the chorus is kind of, everything comes down. And at that point I want to bring in like a really washy, kind of beautiful pad. So this is an example of a time I jump off of the, the sort of, um, the home base patch, and jump into like a really bright pad that's really nice. Uh, and that pad just sounds like this, pretty simple. And then, and then when it comes to the specific song and the sounds that you're using, um, like we did Burning With Your Love this last week and on Burning With Your Love, it's got this uh, this dulcimer sound at the very beginning. Um, it sounds a little bit like this, but with the it's just a piano and a dulcimer layered together. So pretty simple. And then I had some other patches that I was using. Uh, so that's synth, if I pull some stuff out. thing is this um, 
um, forgive the the messy playing there, but uh, that's basically a it's a sampled uh, saw wave from my Oberheim, and I threw that in there. So when we got to the climax of the song, I kind of pulled that pulled that in a little bit, right? Um, so yeah, as, uh, the overall approach is have a home base patch and then have other patches for songs that really require something different. So the home base patch works for like 90% of songs. Um, Burning With Your Love was an example where I wanted to have more synth stuff, more kind of, kind of that big synth lead to take up that big part of the song. Um, so yeah, that's basically the approach. Um, wanted to walk through this because I'm going to be making some of these patches available on my website, which is wherethenordis.com because where the Nord is, the Lord is. Uh, I'm gonna put some of these patches up, but if 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 you were to just get the the patch for the specific song without the context of having that home base patch to go back to, it wouldn't really help you get through a set. So honestly, that home base patch, even if you just pick that one up, it's gonna help you uh, really make it through a whole set. It will have the sampled Oberheim patch in there. It'll have the Oberheim drone as well, the files for all of that. Um, yeah, so feel free. If you have any questions, pop them down below. Uh, the website is wherethenordis.com. Feel free to go check that out. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you're interested in this kind of stuff. Thank you, thank you.